Hello, welcome. I want to show you a really fun script in Grasshopper. I think you're going to like it a lot. It's very straightforward and you give it any image that you have and it gets a three-dimensional surface. There are some portrait makers there, some portrait maker tutorials, but nothing that translates it to a surface. So uh, I'm excited to show you this and um, let's get into it. All right, so this is the script in its entirety. Let's go through it pretty quickly. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this whether you are new to Grasshopper, have never opened it, or if you are familiar with Grasshopper. So we can start by creating a grid of squares. You can type in square here, no add-on needed, and create that, and then specify the X value and the Y value. That will create how big your surface is that you are going to um, place. So you can manipulate that depending on what type of resolution you want. If you make it really small, it's going to be low, lower resolution. If you make it too big, your computer is going to crash. So uh, then to make the image sampler, I type in image and spell it right, image sampler, and that will bring this up and you double click it. And right here there's file path. I'll click that and click any image. Okay. And then I also want to remind to flatten the data and that will um, help for this input here. So right now what we have is we have right here is a, our bounds. And what that's going to give us is the, the number of values that is happening, the range of values that is coming out of this, this image. And so we want to be able to manipulate that range of values. And so in order to do that, we have a domain start and a domain end. And this is essentially going to control what type of resolution we want. And so if we give this a, a high um, kind of start value and end value, as you see, as these numbers come out, we're going to get up to 55 and then we're going to decrease this like 29 and that's going to be our, our highest value. It's going to adjust the points Z value to increase that depth. I just wanted to really quickly explain that because I feel like um, that's really applicable to any script you do in sort of how to manage those numbers. And then so you get this list of data, which is right here. Those are our numbers from, you know, they'll go from zero. And if you want them to start higher, that's fine too. You know, you just start the number higher and it will lift it off the ground. And, and then we have to do something with those numbers. And so we're going to move these points in the Z direction. So you can move them in any direction that you want. You can rotate them, giving this this is the root geometry. We're giving those the base points. And then all we're doing is we're saying, okay, move this dot in this part of the cell up by this amount based off of what's happening in this image. Can extrapolate some different things here. Um, you know, the color values or um, all sorts of things. And you can kind of just experiment with um, you know, what, what, what you're going for. If that didn't completely make sense, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, you know, it makes sense over time, but so just to re-explain here a little bit, we're getting the points in and then we're saying we're going to move all those points based off the value of this image. Now, you know, if you're at this step, let's turn this off. So I have to do some figuring out here. This is what we have. It's just a series of points. Series of points floating in the air. We have to figure out what to do with this data. And so this is this was kind of like that crux situation in Grasshopper. You're like, I don't know what to do next. I, I got, I figured it out. I got my points. Um, you know, if, if something fails, I flattened it. Um, and then I put in the surface from points and it, it just didn't work. Okay, so we're gonna open up our expression. This is x plus one. And um, something you'll notice about that, I didn't do the points. Essentially, this is just gonna give us an easier data set to work with. 
uh, and this is just counting the points. So we're gonna uh, take our points here. This is ge the geometry that has moved. Um, and then, so that's our points and Grasshopper tells us uh, what, what it wants. And so here we have our grid of points and then we have our UV count, here we go. So now for our final step, we are going to bake this. And from here, you can take it to the 3D printer. Let me know if you wanna know how to do that. Uh, I have done that before. Uh, and then also to a CNC engraver, it's basically the same same stuff, same G-code uh, that you get out. Uh, and then we're going to hide all of this. Hide. Okay, so I adjusted the resolution here a little bit. I'm just going to turn this off. So that's really up to you, you know, if you're making a portrait or something else, uh, you can adjust the size uh, depending on how you like it. And we'll go to rendered view. And then we get a little bit less dramatic uh, portrait of a surface. Cool, well I hope you uh, enjoy this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you wanna see any other videos. Have a good day, bye.